Paynesia, and in today's video, I will be reacting to episode 7 of season 2 of Beastars. Let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. I think I've had this episode since Wednesday, Thursday, I believe. This and I cut through because I was like, okay, I need to get these done. And I was going to do them yesterday. I should have been away. But <laughs> I was tired and I was like, no, we can do it after hunting me today. And <laughs> thank God I'm getting this done. <laughs> All right, what happened today? Oh, yeah, the bite. Yes. What's up? See, my biggest thing is it has to be because of the fact that he's changing the way he's eating and everything. I don't know. I mean, because your girl can still bite the same way she was when she was eating meat. I mean, I think it's now been two months. A month and a couple of weeks. A month and three weeks since my mom and I turned vegan. The hell is that? Yeah. Uh-huh. Not if you keep digging around. That too, but if you keep digging around, you might get killed. Mm-hmm. So that means it has to be someone on the drama club. But who? I mean, like, but hold on, okay. Let's think about this. What if it wasn't a guy predator that killed Tim? What if it was a girl? I mean, let, let's be a little honest about this. It could be anyone. <laughs> yeah, that looks nice on him, huh? Oh! We ain't fuck- y'all's not fucking with us, right? What did you do though? Why? I didn't even see it, so I don't even know what the hell happened! Hey, call 911. 911. Something. Bro, like, is he able to get his arm back? Like, it's like, oh, Jesus. Oh. Hopefully. Do you want him to carry your arm too? Mm. 
No. You got his arm, right? Mm hmm. Be like, hell no. Nah. <laughs> huh? Okay. Are you supposed to be a koala bear? Yeah, everybody go home. Please, like, clean that blood up too? Yes. I think so, yeah. You're gonna need surgery. Hopefully it's not too bad. They, they're gonna knock you the fuck out, though. Because, who to feel that pain? Jesus, I can't imagine. It was an accident. You didn't need to. Yeah, but I mean, come on, you're a predator. I don't think you would have ate ten. The guy who kicked Legacy's ass was like hella big. So it's between your little two friends over there. Bill isn't like, mm, come on now, cause Bill. What if it was him? I mean, he, he seems a little too kind, but he is very muscular. You did, didn't you? Why? So you're not a koala bear. Then what the fuck are you? You're a bear. So then why? Get out. Get out. Get out. Get out. Get out. You got you need to move. Get the fuck away from him. You better be lucky he saved your ass. Crazy. Mm mm. Hell to no. But the fact is, what the fuck? I don't know. <laughs> I mean, but still, is he going to explain why? I mean, yes, we know it was an accident, but still.
Yeah, so you need to start talking, Rez. Like, please. <laughs> so you're telling me they didn't even do an investigation after Tim got killed? The fuck is this bullshit? Yeah, but you know, Rez, it would be smart if you go to a rehab facility, you know, for doing that. I mean, hell, if you were found out by police, you would go to jail, but... We have better than jail, right? Yeah. <laughs> huh? Oh, like an amber alert? Because also what happened today. I mean, what the fact is, yes, Tim getting killed and eaten and the situation that just happened in this episode, of course, they're going to be like, okay, yeah, now y'all need to be separated and segregated. <clears throat> at the same time so that this situation doesn't happen again yeah and really it shouldn't be in effect until the following year If only Tim was here. Uh oh. Well, that's where the meeting is, of course. Uh uh. <laughs> oh are you okay I bet you haven't been able to sleep ever since you killed Tim.
Honey. Also, am I going to call him Pooh Bear for the remainder of this series? Do we need the poo? <laughs> yeah. But. Not sure a killer. Now we're gonna Yes! Oh my god, let's go! Yes! <laughs> oh god, I've been wanting to see if they were gonna do this in the show because I was like, we need to see in the mind of the person who killed him. Thank you. Oh my god. <laughs> Heck, you could have possibly fallen in love with him. Be like, damn, you ate your future boyfriend. Mm. Mm. It's crazy, right? Oh, well, you know, Tim, sure. You're, you know, friend, boyfriend, whatever, but... He's right. I don't think anyone would, you know, look at you a certain type of way. But it's better if you just tell others, just besides him. Because he was your, you know, your sweet treat. Mm. But you couldn't control it that day, couldn't you? Mm, that blood moon! Look at Oh, ten. And that's when he's going to do it. 
Ja. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is a mind of a killer. Even though it's still, he didn't mean to do it. I, I feel bad for Tim. I also feel bad for his because, of course, this is something that I, I've been wanting to see ever since season one. And I was like, well, whenever we find out who fucking killed Tim, I need to see the last moments of Tim's life before he died and to see to be shown this my heart hurts like oh my god like Jesus I feel bad for both of them but I feel I feel bad more for you know right because he's still alive he has to um live with that guilt for the rest of his life that he killed his best friend because he wanted to show Tim the real him, you know, without the pills and everything and ish. And all he has of Tim right now is memories also. You're the fact that he's inside his belly and ish and everything. But, oh, Winnie the Pooh, Jesus. I mean, in a way, like, if I had to compare it to Winnie the Pooh, um, Tim is Piglet in a way. And Red is put there <laughs> in a weird way and I cannot believe I'm comparing it to Winnie the Pooh but because of this situation it just seems like that but I don't think Winnie the Pooh would ever have eaten a piglet because you know piglet and Winnie the Pooh were like this they're like this <laughs> this could never happen but oh my god just seeing it, it also you know what I don't know why but like you know how like with some documentaries of whether they're on tv or netflix the the documentaries of like um murder cases and everything like that this is kind of what the second half of this episode gave me you're you're seeing what what led up to like i said tem's death and the choices that um res made up until the point that he did kill him seeing his face covered in blood him crying and everything that picture was hella, like, I don't want to say symbolic, but, oh, God, I, th there were so many things that I felt in that moment. You, you feel heartbreak, you feel anger, remorse, sadness, um, in a way with, like, Tim's last few moments before, you know, he killed him, Tim was giving him forgiveness and saying, you know, it's okay. I accept you for all these flaws that you have, even though you are a carnivore and I'm an omnivore. And we we can't really, we can be friends, but we can't be friends to a point where it seems like my life feels threatened um, every single moment because that's what society has placed on these um, animal-human hybrids because you, you can see it everywhere, especially with the fact is, yes, omnivores and um her boys and our boys, they're separ uh, separated and se segregated. There's the word, segregated. Especially when you go into um, the black market where the deer are. And, um, you know, because, yeah, the stripper deer. <laughs> and then all the carnivores are there and everything. Everyone has, like, a distinct place. It's almost like a hierarchy in a way. Or, like, a chain. Like, here's the rich and powerful. Here's, like, the middle class. And here's the poor. And seeing someone or how like some people and it's even like that in today's society in the world, especially when you see because I love how with season one going into season two, we're still also talking about the um, interspecies crossing or interracial marriages and how even today it, it's a normal but there are still people out here who are like, no, I don't think um, 
certain races should cross with each other because of the sudden third we want to preserve things together in our race and it's like this is and that while me i'm a person where i'm like love is love it shouldn't matter who you know you are are with like i have a preference just as much as anyone else possibly any of you who are currently watching this video right now we all have a preference of like who we want our significant other to be whether you know whatever it is and such and that's what it very much seems like with still both season one of season two of this show but i feel so bad for him i i just i never would have thought they would have did this but I, i'm so glad they did seeing tem's like final moments of his life or even the moment when they were sitting there on the bench together and talking you know you feel happiness but then that blood moon which had to be the because it was the same night when, like, Haru and Legacy, you know, did, did their thing. Not not the sleeping together, but the thing in episode one where she was running away from him. And she, um, he pounced on her. They, like, fell forward or tumbled forward to the point where she's, like, being held by him to the point where she thinks she's going to get eaten by him and stuff. So that had to happen the exact same night, right? Um, and such. But to see, like... The creepiness factor, like, seeing the blood red moon, like, shining down on us, that was, that was beautiful but creepy at the same time. And as someone who loves horror and creepiness, and especially when you take something that seems hella cute, and to make it dark and twisted, it's so good and I love those things so much. I know, I'm like, I'm going way too much into it, but that's just my horror side of it. But yeah, I think, honestly this might have to be my favorite episode of season two because this was just so good it, it was very close to making me cry and just feeling some type of way but i think inside i cried a lot more i don't think i can cry anymore today <laughs> But it was a really damn good episode. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction view towards episode 7 of season 2 of Beastars. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And, of course, I will see you guys officially on, uh, I, I think, Wednesday. If not Wednesday, probably what we'll do is I'll try to have the videos come out on Saturday. I'm not 100% sure. It just depends because your girl is still hella busy with nine um with patreon shows shows that come out in the week non shows and then anything else i'm doing in between but whenever episode eight comes out if it's on a day that i'm not too too busy i'll try to get it out asap as fast as i can but until then i will see you guys all next time bye